What's up guys, Candidan here. By watching my videos you may have noticed that a couple of days ago, maybe a week or so, I've purchased this cool looking wheel set of a Spindrel MTB3 uh, wheels and I thought I would have a bit more time to prepare to the review and to show you all the features that I know of uh, and all the details but just one of you already purchased the, <laughs> these wheels from me on my eBay store thanks for that so I'm gonna prepare those uh, for for shipping but I will still like to I would still like to show you some of the feature for those old-school guys uh, just like me this is how my Canadian Killer looks like with those wheels. Really, really cool looking wheels. Um, it's not that often where, when you can find these in a good condition on eBay or, or anywhere uh, where you're looking uh, for them. So uh, make sure when you're buying Spindle, Spindle and um, you want to be riding them just from time to time and just make your bike looking cool make sure you are buying an mtb3 version that's the model which is the the the, the stiffest and the strongest uh, you can really tell that spindle was um, improving the stiffness and the durability uh, of those wheels and that's uh, one of the main of the mo or the most important features uh, in my opinion, that's the strength of this uh, tree spoke construction. So, uh, if you are interested in some cool looking wheels, uh, you have to know uh, the Spinergy. I've been riding Spinergy, the first and second generation. Uh, and when it comes to the stiffness, the Spinergy is like nothing comparing to the uh, Spindle. I've been riding Santis um, MTB uh, wheels and even if you try to just push hard or compress these uh, spokes uh, you won't be able to push it in because it is just that strong and that's a very very cool feature of these now there is absolutely some weight penalty uh, these are quite heavy so <laughs> this is not for cross-country racing like today because your bike will weigh much more um, one of the be best things about these is uh, also that they look cool when you stand and they look even cooler when they spin. It's just unlike with the cool looking um, wheels for your bike. I love my Mavic Cross Max for, for MTB, I love my, my uh, Xerium SLRs for my uh, road bike, but when they start to spin you, you no longer see that the wheel is very cool and this one uh, even if they spin um, just uh, faster you will still see that this is some tree spoke or some some kind of cool design uh, and it really does make difference when taking a photos or just you know commuting or going somewhere uh, to meet your buddies it is really really uh, cool looking stuff those uh, spokes are huge very wide and also the bearings and the hubs are super so absolutely super smooth so they just spin like crazy i was showing you that uh, when reviewing the garmin edge 25 so uh, these wheels were just spinning here uh, i've purchased this um, with really really um, little uh, miles on them uh, they are true uh, and I'm gonna show you also how the bearings look like. These are of course the very aerodynamic <laughs> wheels but uh, maybe you it's not that important for those buying those wheels uh, and just see nowadays it's more for like some cool projects. So let's just take a closer look to the hubs and what's inside them and the wheels will be sent to Taiwan. All right this is our rear wheel um, as you can see, I've already taken the bolts from the uh, drive side bearing. The drive side bearing, it just, it's just the um, very traditional like Shimano cup and cone bearing with nine quite large uh, balls. So this one has balls uh, on the drive side and then non-drive side we have a cartridge bearings. Uh, it's everything now uh, clean, the balls are clean, I can see uh, that um, the races uh, look very very good so that's why the wheel works so smooth um, the free hub is uh, just fine we can hear that it's clicking in a very very even way 
so there is no need to unscrew this little uh, lock nut uh, and go, go in there. Uh, actually the bearings were also quite, quite clean. Uh, the cartridge bearings is sealed with such uh, sealant or seal and I'm using just the paper knife in order to take it off and open it. We have to be very careful not to scratch, not, not to damage the edges so that uh, it will still be uh, working very fine and not allowing any water coming in. So the non-drive side, super easy. We simply uh, pack there now uh, my beloved Shimano grease, very good for hubs. Uh, it's even very, very good for uh, like uh, all the bolts uh, in the bike, uh, the headset. Uh, I like this grease. So I'm gonna just uh, pack it in. Now we are closing the bearing. It is working fair in a very, very smooth way. Uh, I'm very happy with that. On the non-drive side, there is this quite large, uh, it's not a rubber, but kind of plastic. It's uh, very well made because when you just lock it into place, it looks like it's a part of <laughs> this wheel. There is no uh, space for the water or the dirt to come in. And um, this hub was really clean. So now we're going to uh, put here some grease and then all the nine balls. I have my magnetic screwdriver, which is very helpful. This is the angular bearing and Shimano says, for example, that this one works much better while we are cornering. When you do uh, the overhaul like this, I didn't know what I was going to find on this hub. Uh, you always want to make sure that everything, each part comes in the same order. Uh, so I just put it on the table uh, so that I will know exactly how it comes in. All right, it's important for these two covers here on, on the drive side and this one on the non-drive side to come exactly into place, which just happened right now. And now I'm letting my axle come in also there. Looking smooth. Good. Now all these come. And now I want to make my, my wheel just centered on the hub. Now we've got to use uh, wrench number 16 and 17. All right, so the non-drive side is already locked completely. And the drive side, in order to make it, make it right and also fasten the, the lock nut very well, I'm leaving just a bit of play, maybe just a bit less of the play on the uh, drive side bearing. And while I'll be just screwing it in, the play will, will disappear. That's what I'm planning for. And last touch. That's cool. All right, so this was the review of those Spindle MTB three wheels, really cool stuff. And then we're just putting the cover here. As I said, really well done cover. Right. And then we have this uh, Shimano rubber seal that will just close our our hub from the non-drive side super duper ready to go
and the free hub. Cool guys, thanks for watching. If you wanna send me just any request on some uh, service of the bike or any reviews test, I'll try to do it for you. So I'm waiting for you in the comments section and I'll see you soon in another episode. Bye bye.